Hi, everyone. This is Pat Mitchell with Trick Trades. And I wanted to let you guys know that parts of this podcast, this episode 17, have been edited. The reason why they were edited is I had a problem with someone. I, um, it was a main part of the episode. He ended up contacting me via DM on Twitter. And me and Modern Rock have worked things out. And it's all kosher between us. Um, he didn't ask me to take it down. I offered to take it down as I believe it's the right thing to do. I didn't think that, uh, I thought it would be kind of more like a fake apology uh, on my end if I decided to keep it up. So I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable with keeping it up uh, in full. So that's why if, you, if it seems a little choppy uh, towards a certain section of the podcast, that, that's, that's what's up. It's, uh, it is partly edited, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. It's a good one. Adios. Listening to too many idiot educators you are. Mm. Too many blown up accounts you have. Trading can be as hard as rearranging these freaking words I speak. I feel much fear in you, much anger in you like other traders. Headed towards the dark side you are. Fallout shelter is what you seek. Powerful you will become with Trick and Tino. Unlearn what you have learned, you will. A Jedi trader uses Fallout Shelter for knowledge, skill, and consistency. Clears your mind of past bullshit it does. Listen and let it dominate your destiny it will. Try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Yoda. Ah, that, that little green guy. Ah, uh, what's not to love, hey? Eh? Uh, talk some wisdom there. Talks backwards. Even swore a little. Did you hear that? Did you yeah. catch that? That's <laughs> unbelievable. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Trick Trades kind of has a tendency to get even the most angelic like creatures to to end up swearing yeah i don't don't know why i don't know why but (laughs) well everyone this is episode 17 of follow shelter with trick and tino what's Uh, up people how's it going tino good man how was the weekend buddy it was good you know um pretty busy uh you know just catching up on some stuff I had my son for about the about a week previous to that, so I had a bunch of catching up to do. And yeah, no, it was it was good, man. Good weekend. You do anything crazy or what? No, I just chilled. You know, just uh, caught up on some work and worked out a little bit and took it easy, man. Weather's nice here, so enjoyed nice. the weekend. Nice. And uh, looking forward to the rest of this week. You know, yeah. So, a lot, yeah a lot good of good start out. to the week so far already. What, would you? What did you get into this morning right away? AMD? Uh, that was AMD. Yeah. AMD and Baba and Twitter today. And uh, they were all really crazy plays. I mean, AMD took that for, I think that was 60%. Uh, yeah. Baba and Twitter were both in the 50s, 60s. Um, uh, just crazy. Yeah, pretty crazy. I ended up catching some luck on Twitter. I ended up being on the long side of a um, uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> why can't I think of it? Andrew left his. Oh, he did another hit piece on yeah, it. Yeah, I man. missed that. What yeah. did he say? It's going down again. No, no, no. That it's going up. I was he... long, right? So. Wait, he said it's going up to what? What's his price target on it? Two, I believe his price target was on Twitter. What is it? 52. 52? Wasn't it a couple months ago he was? He said it was down to 25? That was his price target? 
Yeah, Remember? he's he, no, he's been going back and forth, long yeah. and then short, long and then short. So, huh. um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely caught some luck on Twitter with that, and I think that should have a continuation now. That should give it a little bit of moment, momentum. So, no, it was uh, it was a nice little surprise. I ended up going to make a coffee. I was already long, then I went to go make a coffee, and I came back, and the fucking thing spiked like a motherfucker. Yeah, I see that. I'm looking at the chart. Yeah, Man, so. Pretty I've crazy. been involved now twice with a couple Andrew left tweets and both being on the right side of it. And it, it does. It really comes as a shock. Yeah. It's just like, cause instantly you look at the chart and it's like, Holy fuck, what the hell is going on? Cause it starts going berserk. Cause what that is people, for those of you that don't know what that is now, what that is, it's not, uh, people reacting to that. That's actually Andrew left initiating his position. A lot of people don't know that, okay? So when he's short biased on a stock and he puts a tweet out, as the tweet is going out, he's hitting short, right? Or his lackeys or whoever the fuck, right? But, you know, but that's when he's initiating the position. That's why it's so volatile. A lot of people think it's like, they, and I've asked, I've got asked this question before. It's like, well, well, how do people react so quickly? No, 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 no. That's his position. And then they're like, well, it's like it's hundreds of thousands of shares or millions of millions of shares. It's yeah. Well, that's his position. There are some whales in this industry, right? So, but that's actually what's going on when you see that volatility. It's actually him initiating that position. Yeah. And I have a strategy actually based on how to trade an Andrew left tweet. Um, that works actually quite well. It does take a little bit of patience. Uh, see when people see that sort of shit, if they're not already in, they try and chase and that's not the way to do it. Uh, I have a pretty good strategy based around that, uh, around those those tweets that that work pretty good but uh yeah you've got a video in the in the library too i've seen yeah yeah, good, yeah. Good video on it yeah exactly that'll tell you exactly how to how to trade those um citron research Jeez, uh, the, both yeah. these candles i think there's three candles in a row they're almost a million one's over a million yeah that's all One, him yeah one's about nine hundred ninety thousand. man yeah, the first first one or two candles is definitely all him. And then after that, yeah, you're definitely going to have some chasers involved, right? Yeah. But for the most part, the first candle, 100% him. Second candle, probably 90% him, right? And then third candle, 70, 60, you know what I mean, right? And, and you know what? It was right off the VWAP. Mm-hmm. Crazy, huh? Yeah, well, that's where I originally got in. I didn't get off the first VWAP tag. I got on that little bit of consolidation on the yeah. You know, speaking of which, Good I've got segment. a little beef with someone here. Oh, here we go. So this this Michael Edwards from True Trading Group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed you this, eh? Yeah, it's man, fucking, unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's blatant and it's ridiculous. Now the guy obviously, and I know for a fact. I mean, he he he's watched my YouTube videos and all. I know what he. I, I know he has. Okay, and. Um, it's funny because he just put out this video and I saw it just before I went to bed and I was all fired up over it. Um, right before I go to bed, probably, I don't know, two days ago, something like that, maybe three days ago now. Um, I'm on YouTube, just checking the back end, and, uh, one of his videos pop up on the, um, suggested or whatever. And it's like his, his new mid cap strategy strikes again or some bullshit like that. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, guaranteed. It's one of my strategies. And I went and take a look. Guess what it is, folks. First VWAP tag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many YouTube videos have I done on that? Right. Like, fuck man. These guys, you know, they can't even, these unoriginal fucks, they can't even just say, Hey, like I, I picked up, I was watching, you know, I was watching a, a YouTube of trick trades and he's got this really good strategy guys. You know what, why is it, why are people so afraid to give acknowledgement to other services? I do it. I've done it and I do it all the time. If I pick something up from someone else's service, I will say, Hey man, and this is where I got that. But I'll tell you what, 99.9% .9 of everything that Trick Trades does is, it's original. We are original motherfuckers, man. And it gets a little bit old with all these guys, you know, with the, with the knives and the arrows in the back. Like, I'm just, man, I'm getting real sick of it. I'm getting real fired up about it, too. Um, 
you know, I know we started off really pleasant here, but man, I, I'm going to lay into some guys here on, on this, on this podcast and, and one in quotes, female. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, but anyways, this, yeah, that Michael Edwards from true trading group. I mean, you know, he's traded nothing but penny stocks. And now in that video, his opening lines are just like, I've warned you guys to stay away from low floats now. It's like, no, yeah. you haven't. You were just trading low floats. You just traded low floats. You chased a bunch of fucking low floats and you got spanked. His okay. first, yeah, his first comment on that video is some guy uh, commented, you're right, man. You've been pushing mid caps every day joking around like yeah like it's unusual for him to play those you know what i mean yeah because i've seen his videos before he plays all that low float you know just that yeah that he's garbage. a typical he's a typical <laughs> small cap low float shitty chat room unoriginal chat room that's been done a million times before they got nothing new you know and i mean uh, you know, another thing, you know, this guy he claims to be a, a hedge fund trader and, you know, technically maybe he traded in Kunal from Bulls on Wall Street's hedge fund. So technically he could be a, a hedge fund trader. I don't know what the fuck this guy's story is. And I don't really care the way, you know, it brings me to another point that I wanted to, to reach out. How this is how you guys can really spot not so much a fraud, but someone's that someone that is claiming to be a professional that's been a professional for years or something like that. Okay. This is how you spot them. You guys ready? Get a fucking pen ready. Cause I'm telling you, this is how you do it. Now, when they make videos of their losses and they're like really beating themselves up and it's not even a big loss. It's some like, I don't know, 500 or or $1,000 loss to a professional guy that's fucking fly shit. It's nothing. It's, it's chicken scratch, okay? If they care that much over a loss, they're bullshit, okay? They are what I consider a newbie still. They are still, they have yet to shed their newbie skin. Yeah. That's yeah. 100% fact. And you want to know why I talk to any professional that's out there. We don't give a fuck about losses. I tried explaining this to Tino over the phone, how much I don't care about losses. And it took me, what, 10 minutes? Because I was trying to convey the fact to Tino that they, oh man, oh, I, they don't matter. Losses, they, they're so far out of my realm of thought, I give them no thought. Like none, I, I mean none, okay? You don't beat yourself up over a lot. It doesn't matter. Losses are more of a part of trading than the wins. It doesn't even, it doesn't matter. So when you see a guy like really like, oh man, you know, I, I should, you know, he's like, he's just like beating himself up. The guy's full of shit, man. Yeah. He's not, he's not what he says he is. And I'm not just saying it's just this Michael Edwards guys. There's, there's lots of these guys, these YouTube and, and Facebook and Twitter, uh, uh, social media traders. Okay. They're not, man. They're not, they beat themselves up over losses. There's this other guy from, I think it's like limitless trading or some shit like that. He runs some fucking chat room. He claims to be like a professional. The guy's a straight up newbie. He's a straight up newbie, yeah. man. hundred percent. He's been trading for a year or under hundred percent, hundred percent, man. And because he's, he's done the same thing with these losses. He beats yeah. himself up over like, it was like a $400 loss or some shit. He's beating yeah. guys. I'm telling a four hundred dollar loss is such a fucking. It just doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. And to some people, I mean, that's a lot of money to some people. But if you if that gets you upset, then then there's a problem with your uh, theory in the beginning where your risk to reward was way skewed. You know, yeah. because if you're already taking that big of a loss and it's bothering you, then there's a problem in the in the chain there somewhere. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I've gotten to the point now, and I, I'm pretty proud of the fact that when I do take a loss, like you said, I don't care because no, I'm okay with that can. loss and I, and I expect them to happen, you know? Well, yeah, so I mean, fuck, man. They happen, for the most part, it's pretty rare that I go 100% on the day. I don't. I take losses all the time. 
Yeah. And Tino can attest to it and all the members can attest to it. When I say I got stopped out, you don't hear anything different in my voice. You don't hear my voice crackling and I'm getting upset and breaking things or I'm just like upset. I don't care. I, man, I can't stress that enough. So yeah, when you, you see a, a guy yeah, that's were... beating himself up over it, the guy's a newbie. Get out of his fucking room. Yeah, you had a red day, uh, I think it was Thursday or Friday with Apple. Apple yeah. took you out a couple times. And you were like, yeah, I think I'm done. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was, that, was, that was the end of it. Yeah, I took, yeah. I took two, two trades on Apple. Both were losses, and that was it. And it's no big deal. It's like, nah, fuck, I'll shut her down on the day. Yeah, exactly. It's just not my day. It doesn't matter. I think but it's here in a month and a half from my last red day. Like red days are pretty few and far between because I can always get back green. I just I'm patient with the yeah. setup and then I nail. It's, but you know what people are going to say that are listening? They're going to say, oh, yeah, but Pat, you got a service and you're making your money off the members and all yeah, that bullshit. Fuck That's that, why you don't guys. care. No. You know? you know, and I also got hit, hit up by, well, a friend when I, when I talked about this. And uh, I think it was you, Tino. And he said, well, it's the size of your account. Yeah, that, I did. Yeah, that was me. And it's not, guys. I when I when I really changed things around, I still had a relatively small account, guys. Remember, I started when I started and I refunded my account for the last time. It was a five thousand dollar account. Okay. And the one of the ways that I got over it, I had a fucking come to Jesus speech with myself, man, to get my shit together. And I had to not care about losses. Now, not lying to myself and saying that I cared that I didn't care about losses, but I mean, truly every fiber of my being believed it. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care. Okay. Right. Now that's something that you're just going to have to get over in time. I don't know. I mean, th th there's things I can help you with, right? At trick trades, but it, that's a tough one, guys. That's really what separates the 90 from the 10. It's one of the few things that separates us. Okay. You really cannot care about losses. And I don't mean lie to yourself and say, ah, I don't really care, but it's still eating you up inside. You got to be brutally honest with yourself. Some people just don't have the mental makeup to be a trader, guys. You need to be mentally tough. This is a tough game. This is a tough game. It really is. Mentally, it's tough. You know? Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of these uh, the, these new traders come in, you know, and they're, they're, uh, they're kind of uh, – enamored by the uh, the money that's shown on the P&Ls and they, you know, they go in with the uh, so-called standard 1,000 shares per trade and they totally don't even think about what could happen if this goes against me. And yeah, then they yeah, get nobody up in a shitty that. stock and it goes yeah. against them quickly and they're out of money in the hundreds of dollars when they weren't even, and they don't even have that money to spend, you know? So yeah. then they start blowing up people. Ah, this sucks. Like, you know, this is bullshit. It doesn't work. You know, I lost all this money. Well, you know, you, you fucked up, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, your, 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 your risk to reward is so skewed. I mean, that's why these people, man, I don't know what it is with this thousand share uh, entry that they think is a standard you need to do. It's just ridiculous. I mean, that can do a lot of damage if you're a new trader. Yeah, well, a thousand shares every 10 cents is a hundred bucks. It happened to me, man. That's how I did it. Yeah, man. When you got a small account, I mean, something dumps out on you fucking 20, 30 cents. It's a $300 loss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, right. I mean, yeah. You can't I mean, manage your risk with penny stocks. It's very hard to do because there's a lot of just manipulated bullshit that goes along with it. And then a lot of these low floats... All it takes is the volume to dry up just that little bit, man, and someone mark it out of a position or mark it into a position, depending whether you're long or short, and you're going to get your ass handed to you. Yeah. I mean, something especially, like... Sorry, yeah. I just one more thing. Especially yeah. when the stock is like the 3 to $6 range. Yeah. Because they can dump out a point. Yeah. It's a thousand bucks, guys. 
I mean, that's why I like uh, like a stock like AMD, such a good mover. And and it's a great mover. I mean, it's a great uh, stock to play with your option strategy too. Yeah. You yeah, know, because, because on the equity side, there may not be a lot of volatility because there's not a lot of range to AMD, but there is more than enough range. If you catch it on the on the right day, on the right side of it, you can actually make, you know, about a point on a $20 stock. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it's about 50 cents, which is still, you know, it's not too bad. But on the option side, you can hit it for multiple 100% trades per day. Well, be more precise to say with your strategy because yeah that's i mean with your strategy i've we've all seen all the members have seen it you know what i mean yeah. every single day i mean that you've hit amd a few times on your option strategy yeah and, and for i would say i average about 80 to 100 percent on my trades yeah. with amd yeah yeah Mondays can be a little slow because of time decay. And that's, that's the only reason because I'm playing a weekly, you have a lot of time. So it's, you don't, you don't have that, that volatility with the options. You still do. I mean, AMD did produce two trades where you could have taken it for a hundred percent each. I just got out a little bit early on AMD. Yeah. It was, it was moving off that news, wasn't it? About coming out with that new chip. That's supposed to be faster yeah, I than think anything. that's why it was moving, but it wasn't as volatile as I thought it yeah. was going to be. I thought it was really going to go. It did. It did. Don't get me wrong. It did. It ended up ripping up a fair bit, but I found it very heavy in its movement up. Looking yeah. in hindsight, and we're going to get to this hindsight bullshit here in a second, but looking back in hindsight with AMD, you know, and that's why hindsight can be so dangerous is it looks so easy in trading. Like when yeah. you look at AMD, it's like, well, why didn't you just hold to the top? Well, sometimes you can't because they trade very thick and very heavy. It's like it's fighting really, it's really fighting on the way up. Okay. Yeah. But it really down ticks hard on any, on any movement down. Like it's just very heavy is, and it's, and it, it it's, it's, it's like someone, it's like a sumo wrestler on top of the, the elevator, right? Yeah. You know, it's, it's still going up, but it's struggling, man. And, and when it does go against you, you're not going to get hurt. It's, it's not it's going to dump out on you. You know what no, I mean? No, no. AMD cannot, hurt, it can't hurt you. Even For a new trader. Most, yeah. yeah, yeah. Even with the most volatile candles, you're only looking at about five cents. And yeah. that's a big candle on AMD. You know, I'm looking at the uh, intraday chart, man. Like that twenty dollar, uh, that twenty dollar level is. I mean, it triple topped almost at twenty. Yeah, today. no, I know. Yeah, and I'm kind of. Yeah, I'm kind of choked. I missed that short because that's about the time that I was going to be heading to the gym. Yeah, right at eleven a.m. Yeah. 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 I kind of. I missed. I missed that, and I missed the uh, reversal on Amazon as well. Uh, oh, very man. nice reversal on Amazon. Would have. Would have smoked that if I was. If I was here, I would have smoked that. So. God, you know, I love and hate Amazon because uh, you know that thing's going to two thousand. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, still going to struggle to get there though. Yeah. I but, mean, it. It's going to have a magnet. It will magnet to two thousand. It will hit two thousand. There's not. There's not a doubt in my mind. Yeah. I just don't know when. Yeah, man. Yeah. But I want to talk about um, this whole Maggie Klein situation. I hate to give this thing, her, him, whatever the fuck it is, a time of day. But I, you know, and I wasn't talking about much ab about her because, you know, I just, I know it's, it's a fake account and it's a fake person. And I'll get to my whole thing behind that. But this Maggie Klein Okay, for those of you that don't know her, I can't remember her uh, her Twitter handle. It's like it's um, Klein twenty six or some shit like that. It, yeah, it's Klein two sixty. The Klein two sixty. Yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> she came out of nowhere, guys. This is the one of the fishiest uh, trading uh, Twitter accounts I've seen in a long time. So this Maggie Klein came out of, I'm talking literally nowhere. She followed every fucking guru out there. Everyone that is a name on, on Twitter. She followed, um, you know, regular traders as well. And about a month ago, I'd say about a month ago, somewhere around that time frame. And instantly I had a problem with this and we got into a little scrap over 
something about a month ago and I basically fucking told her to fuck off. It's like, she's going on how she's a 20 year vet and all this and these stock predictions. And it's just like, get the fuck out of here. First of all, um, a professional trader won't give any credence to stock predictions. <laughs> okay. That's, that's yeah. nonsense. And that's horseshit. That's crystal ball, wizard wand, Holy grail garbage. Okay. You know, these whole stock predictions, and I will say this, that what she's doing is a timed reversal strategy. She doesn't call it a strategy. Now she is because I put a tweet out about it that she's calling it a strategy and a system. Before she wasn't, she was calling it just stock predictions. Okay. So she's trying to be, build this mysterioso around it. Yeah. Okay. And that's the problem I have. Now, if she has a legitimate system, and she does, it's actually quite easy, guys. This is a, a, rever a timed reversal strategy that Trick Trades has been teaching for over a year, okay, in the mentoring program. It's nothing fancy about what she's doing. I can do the exact same thing she's doing to the minute. That's why my calls, for the most part, are very on it's all time of day and you get to know a small basket of stocks, guys, okay? And even if you don't know the stock, you can usually pinpoint the reversal times within a minute or two, okay? On soda, not today, but yesterday, I called in pre-market. Now, would I call this a stock prediction? No, I called the top and I was off by four cents. And there's no support up there. Right. I'm not claiming I have a crystal ball. I called the top by four cents. There's no support up there, guys. There's nothing up there. It didn't hit a whole number. Go check it out. Go check out the chart from last week. Uh, when would have that been? Friday. Friday. August, what was that? 10th? Um, or 9th? That was the 10th. Yeah, August 10th. I called the top, by, and I was off by four cents on soda. Okay. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's called screen time and, and hard work and paying attention to detail and owning your craft. Okay? So when someone comes out and starts talking about stock predictions, it gets my blood boiling. A real professional and someone that's not trying to sell you smoke and mirrors and, and, and magic tricks. Okay. And then the funny thing is, in some of her tweets, she'll name off three different times. I saw that. Right? And it's yeah. like, well, well, you're kind of taking away the whole thing, right? Like, yeah. you're naming three times and they're just oddball minutes yeah. of yeah. time of day. And it's like, a, it's like a magic trick, guys. It's an illusion. And then you have these newbies that are like, wow. Yeah. They, you know, everybody's looking for the, uh, like the next, the, the next big pill to take. Yep. You know what I mean? It's so stupid when it all just comes down to, you make it sound as simple as you can. It all comes down to support and resistance. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. You know, there's and everybody thinks there's a need about this. There's all of a sudden, you know, how long have people been trading stocks uh, over a hundred years? Yeah. And all of a sudden yeah. there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be something all of a sudden new and groundbreaking and in, in, in trying to figure how this thing, how this shit moves. Yeah. Are, you, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you have a couple videos on, on time frames. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, I don't know if you want to tell them what it is or they can just join. Well, out. there's, yeah. I mean, there's, and, there's certain I mean, times a day that I can predict a, um, a predict, right? I, I got, I got predict, one for you. I can predict a, uh, a reversal to the minute on, I mean, name any stock. It's time of day reversals, guys. Okay. And I'll give you the exact time of day. I've, I've got a bunch of time of day reversal times that you should be watching for. And it works with damn near every stock. Guys, what she's doing isn't, isn't magic and it's not amazing. It's something I've been teaching for over a year at Trick Trades, guys. See, this is what drives me nuts, right? But then the thing that pisses me off, it's not even her. If she wants to be a shyster and a fucking, you know, some sort of witch or a wizard, 
<laughs> that's fine. Go ahead. But for modern rock and Alex to actually cater to that, I yeah. don't know what's up. They must be – It's they're working an angle, guys, period. They are. Because no one would give any credence to that. You know, and to say, oh, well, you know, you, you're, you guys are just bashing her because you don't understand her system. No, I understand her system. I know exactly what her system and her strategy is, dude. I know exactly. I've been teaching it for over a year. Yeah. There's nothing new or special about it. I can do the exact same thing. It's nonsense. She came out of nowhere a month ago hmm. and every guy and his dog's following her. Yeah. I'm going to give a prediction for free for everybody out there. Okay. At noon, it's lunchtime and it slows down. How about that one? Oh, boom. Is that boom? Mind blowing. Mind blown. <laughs> uh, am I good now? Yeah, you're awesome. <laughs> you're so good. You're yeah. So and good. at four, um, four o'clock Eastern, um, after hours, we'll start. How's that one? Nice. Nice. And we don't Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> like fuck guys. <laughs> you know, I know we're really oversimplifying her system. Guys, I, I can go into detail exactly what she does and how she does it. And the funny thing is, all of her calls that she's made, I would have called the the actual proper entry an hour previous and I would have top ticked that yeah, bitch. Yeah. You know, it just pisses me off because they're just trying to put a spin. Whoever this Maggie person is, is just trying to put a new spin and, and get subscribers. On an old fucking strategy. <laughs> it, it just, you know what it reminds me of? The Dion Warwick psychic hotline from the nineties. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. how many suckers did they fleece? And that's exactly what this broad's doing. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, come on. Like, and for all the newbies out there that are really falling for it, guys. I mean, seriously, don't be that dumb. I don't want to be rude or anything. Well, come on. Yeah. You really think it's that easy? Like you now really we have fortune teller fucking day trading services. Oh, oh, yeah. I remember that one you showed me. Yeah. You know, God. like, like get the fuck out of here. You know, oh, enough of that shit. Guys, wake up. Like, <laughs> yes. you know, it pisses me off because it really takes out, uh, takes away from um, the hard work that a lot of people put into it. It's, it's just frustrating when you, you're trying to uh, put out some good vibes and some good information and education out there and just, you know, it's hard to go against the grain. And that's exactly what we've been doing with Trick Trade is we're going against the grain and we've been exposing these people you know, since day one, since we started. Yeah. You know? and, uh, yeah. It's, you know, you're, you're going to, you're going to polarize the audience out there. People are going to yeah. love you or hate you. Yeah. That's you know fine. I mean? Yeah. And, and I'm and fine with fine. that. The, the education speaks for itself. Yeah. And that's all you need to know. And if you don't, and if you don't believe me, just go to the YouTube channel and see the free content out there. That's the free stuff. That's just the free shit. That's just the free shit. The, the free stuff that is what got me involved. I mean, the free stuff, I, I was blown away by what I was learning on the free channel. I'm like, I can't believe that he's, this guy's giving this shit away for free. You yeah. Know? I pissed off a lot of fucking uh, chat rooms at the beginning. Yeah. And a lot of services. I, I straight up pissed them off because I was giving this shit away from free for free. Yeah. Dante from IU hit me up because we used to be friends. Um, but he hit me up and he's like, Pat, you can't, you can't do this. Like you, Why? you piss off a lot of fucking people, man. Too I bad. Said, I don't give a fuck. And then yeah. I took his advice and then I, I started charging $10 and then he <laughs> called me the, the biggest low life piece of shit there is for doing that. Uh, you told me to do it, dude. Yeah. The fact that you charge ten bucks is just yeah, blows my mind. Out of here. And people were and people complained about that. Yeah. Jeez, man. Yeah. Yeah. He called me the lowest form of human being for doing that. And then when I sent him a DM, a screenshot of the DM where he told me to start charging, you know, ten, fifteen bucks, he fucking blocked me. Hmm. That's a guy. Here's the thing, guys. This fucking guy, you know, I haven't talked about this a lot. Because I know he's well respected. The guy, fuck him, fuck him. You know what, man? Really, fuck him. Because I talk to him almost every day. Almost every day, I talk to him, and that's how he treated a friend. He just blocked me. 
he told me that I should do that. But what was he afraid of the competition? What was his? What was I don't his know. I don't know. And here's the thing with Dante. He'll come off like he's Mr. You know, whatever. He had a fucking streamed um, chat room. He was he. T- and here's a fucking funny thing. He told me it was free. He fucking told me it was free. I was in his room. Do you want to know why I was in his room? Because I could get investors underground and live stream trading all streamed for free. That's his trading chat room, folks. Wow. He's, and Jeff is his best friend. Now, I've never told Jeff about that. So I guess if he hears the podcast, I guess he'll find out. Oh, well. Hmm. That's Jeff funny. is supposed to be one of his best friends, and that's what he does. Yeah. He charges people to, to, to watch Jeff's live stream. Jeez. And he does that for Investors Underground as well. Hmm. So, Nate, maybe if you're listening, maybe you should have a look at your fucking moderators because they're making money off the, off the side from you. Someone that you've treated like a, basically a son is doing that to you. Well, fucking truth's out there, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not holding back anymore. Like, I, I, I got a lot of dirt on a lot of people, and I'm just like, I'm sick of it, man. Because I'm always coming off like the fucking bad guy. And here's the thing, man. All these guys that you look up to people, man, they do some greasy shit. Oh, yeah. Like, dude, I'm telling you, fucking Jeff from Livestream, that's, that's one of Dante's closest friends in the day trading world, guys. And he streams Jeff's service and charges for it. Oh, I wish I was. I hope I would love to be in the room when he finds that one out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I've seen it firsthand, Jeff. I've seen it firsthand. That's, that's not secondary information. That's that. Hey, it is what it is. And Nate, I've seen it firsthand. And here's the other thing. I've seen Nate's DMs to, to, um, Dante and I've seen Eric Woods DMs to Dante. These are guys that, that, you know, have taken Dante under his wing. Okay. And that's how he treats them. That's the allure to Dante's chat room. Hmm. Unbelievable, man. You know, so all these guys coming off like saints, like I've kept my mouth. I've never told anyone that by the way. I've I've never told anyone that. Only the few people that that I really speak to know that. And yeah. fuck it, you know I'm I'm tired of always coming off like the fucking bad guy, right? Like all these guys, they're greasy fucking guys. You know they got massive egos and they do shit like that to their fucking friends. And I'm tired of it. Like Dante really pissed me off when he fucking blocked me, man. I'm still pissed over that. I was fr- I considered him a friend. You know, I've got a YouTube video out there where it's like, man, I like, I like basically say how much I just fucking love that guy. Yeah. You know? Jeez, man. That's, that's... And then he just, he's the one that told me to fucking, I should start charging. And I did. And I took advice, his advice with the, the 10 to 15 to $30 range. I charged 10 to get rid of the dead weight in the room. And then he fucking, he hit me up. So what's this you're charging for your room now? I'm like, yeah, I took your advice. And, you know, I figured it was time. Like, I want to get rid of, you know, some, some, some riffraff in the room. And I figured that was a pretty good way. And he goes, you know, I wish you would have told me, you know, I feel like such an asshole. And he turned it around on him. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute here. You told me I should do that. He goes, no, I didn't. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. I'll get the screenshot, dude. So I grabbed yeah. the screenshot, and then by the time I could post it, he already blocked me. Uh, fucking just scum. You, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, man. You know? I know that this has been a real, real crazy episode of Fallout Shelter, guys, but, <laughs> man, it's just, it is what it is. You know, this has been my forum to really vent and get some shit off my chest because this stuff does genuinely bother me. 
It does bother me because it's not right. Like I've said before in previous podcasts, I'm very black or white. There's no gray area with me. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And I've always been told that I've got a really good moral compass. Yeah. Well, I remember when you and I got together and we were talking about building this thing. I mean, you already built it, but just moving forward with it. And um, we said our main goal is to spread the education because it's the best education out there. And it's to to expose the fraud that's out there and save these new new traders and even professional traders and, and people that have been in for a while to, to, to help them and, and stop getting taken advantage of. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And, and that... That was our main goal. And, you know, if, if we got to hurt some feelings, well, it's too bad. But, yeah. you know, we're not doing anything wrong, you know? No, no, man. Our hands are fucking clean, man. Yeah. That's the thing. And it's like, but the person that does the talking, right, like don't kill the messenger. Well, yeah. there's a reason why that saying's out there because people do kill the messenger, right? right. They, take, they take the bad news out on the messenger. Guys, yeah. our hands are clean, you know? I'm not, I'm not making any fucking false claims about any of these people. I'm not, you know, uh, I didn't make up a story about Dante streaming Jeff from live stream service and, and charging for it or investors underground and charging for it. He is that that's just fact. Okay. You know, like none of this is false. It's all, you can take what I say as gospel. For people that know me, Tino can, Tino will, what I say, there is, there is no exaggeration. Fact is fact. When I catch a fish and I say the fish was that big, it was that big. There's no reason to exaggerate. No, because these stories are crazy enough. And you got nothing to gain from it. You know what I mean? No, I'm not just trying to help people. That's all we're doing. You know? I'm not gaining anything from this. I'm probably losing. Yeah. But the truth has to get out there somehow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm sick of it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm sick of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it bothers me because it puts you in a cranky mood, you know, <laughs> and then you're not up to par and I got to deal with you then. I so know. I take it, it helps me too. too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like guys, man. There's a lot of craziness out there. There's there's a lot of shadiness out just, there. Yeah, we just scratched the surface. Yeah, this like guys, there's way more. You think but, this is it? No, man. I got way more but, dirt. You I know, got so much dirt, it'd fill a vacuum. If you all of you listeners want to come to a place where you can kick back, where it's laid back and you can hang out with some cool people, myself included, Pat included, and just it's like you're hanging out, having a beer with us and just trading and having some fun. No yeah, bullshit. Man. No lies. We're not taking, we're not scamming your money. Yeah. We're not doing anything. We're helping you. We're educating you. Yeah. Education is top notch, man. Yeah, top it notch. is. It is top notch. And I mean, you know, the first <clears throat> from about, you know, we, even pre-market can be a little loose, but we usually try and go over lots of plays early pre-market. That's a time when I suggest if, if traders really want me to go over charts, I'll go over your charts, I'll go over your plays live on screen share. I fire up screen share at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. Uh, depending on what type of questions there are, I'll pop on mic at around, you know, uh, 7.30, somewhere in there, uh, start talking with everyone, just kind of shoot the shit. And then... You know, we get our game faces on at uh, 9 a.m. for the pre-market plan of attack. And then we're down to business for the good, you know, first first hour, hour and a bit. You know, no bullshit. Just, just straight up tr- uh, hardcore trading. You know, fucking all four business, hours. man. Yeah, we're good. You we're know. going strong for four hours. Yeah. At least. And then, you know, after that, we might, you know, loosen it up a little bit. But I'm always watching plays. I'm always yeah. watching plays, you yeah. know. And calling out these plays. Yeah. You know, telling you guys what to be watching for. And if someone has a question, I'll go over examples live on screen share. I'll break out the annotation tools and I'll show you exactly what to watch for, man. Yeah. It's like when it does this, fucking get in, baby. Yeah. And if you have a question out there and you want it answered, if Pat doesn't answer it, somebody else in the room's gonna. Yeah. And it's rare. I don't answer a question. Yeah. It happens. I mean, I can't, I can't have my eyes glued to the chat. I mean, 24 seven, but it, it's rare that I'll, I'll miss one. It is rare. Yeah. I'd say I'd catch literally 98% of all questions. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. 
you know, guys, um, I think maybe we'll wrap it up. Um, you know, pretty, pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy episode. You know, yeah. I just, I just really want to warn you guys and let you guys know. And, you know, just, you guys got to really, you know, for the ones that are be like, you know, like, ah, oh, this guy's always pissed off. It's like, yeah, I am pissed off. There's a lot that pisses me off. Cause it's not right guys. I don't want to see you guys scammed anymore. You know, like, and to stick up for these guys, cut that shit out. They, man, if you, if you really knew my background and what I used to do when I was younger, there's a reason why I've got a fucking top notch bullshit detector. I used to deal with a lot of scum of the earth type of fucking people. All right. I can tell you whether someone's bullshitting and there's a reason why I call a lot of bullshit because there is a lot of bullshit out there. These guys are trying to pull the wool over your eyes and they can't do it with me, man. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, and it's, I've been, I bartended in the hottest clubs in the country for years and years from people from all over the world. I've seen people try and act, act as big as they want to be. And they're such bullshitters. Yeah. I mean, I, I can point out a bullshitter. I mean, easy. Yeah. And you know, what's funny is we've caught a bunch of them already. And, and sure enough, we were right on target. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's yeah. Just, and there's one coming by the way, guys. Yeah. I have a screenshot. Uh, and I've seen the video. I tried saving the video, but he, this fellow that sent me this information had already taken it down, but I, I did watch the video. So I've seen this firsthand with my own eyes and I have a screenshot of where his screen share fucked up one day. He's going to have some explaining to, to, to do guys. And that's coming soon. Yeah. I can't wait for that. Yeah. That's been a long time coming. I've called this guy bullshit from fucking way back. I've seen, I've seen the video with his own eyes, and yes, it was off of his screen share. Mm -hmm. Right? It's off of a simulated account. And the, time, and the thing is, um, you know, I spoke to someone about it. It's like, oh, well, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because, you know, it might be he might have been in a different uh, account. I'm like, well, why would he be in a simulated account at all? There's, there's no reason for it. Yeah, right. Okay, Unless, like, yeah. no, 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 no. Don't stick up for that. Stop sticking up for that. Man, there's, he's got a lot of people fooled, but he doesn't fool a lot of the, the professionals that are out there. That's why no one really fucking talks to him anymore. Because it's just, I mean, it's just bullshit. I mean, when you're posting fucking uh, P&Ls of like 107,000, and then 184,000, then 120,000 on. all in one week, like, get fucked. Pound sand, buddy. Ridiculous. And man. then his losses are only like a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, no, man, you, you can't you, like, that's a thing, you know, with trading options, you can't manage your losses that with that big of a position. You can't I'm, guys. It doesn't work that way. Okay. Like for people that do trade large positions, day trading options, they know what the risk is. And the risk isn't just a hundred or a couple hundred bucks guys. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. Right. Especially if you're looking to make like a hundred K, you know, you got a fair size position and it's not, nah, it just doesn't work that way, guys. So there's a reason why he's so calm in his trades and well, simulated count. And I've got the screenshot. Hmm. That's going to be uh, awesome to, to, to hear that comeback. I can't yeah, man. For that one. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? And I'm going to put it out there that, Hey, I'll put it on the table. I don't know 100%. I just want you to explain yourself. Right. Can you tell me why this was on your screen? Yeah. And I don't want to hear, oh, it's Photoshop. Because no, it's not. It's not. It's not. I've seen the video. I've seen the video. Yeah. I've seen the video and the screenshot is that's from the video, period. So that's mm. going to be really interesting. But I do want to dedicate a special episode to that fellow. Because <laughs> he does hold a very special part of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh god these fucking people oh man Listen, they're, they're everybody, everywhere to, it's disgusting uh, guys it's come disgusting. to a place where it's fun where you hang out with some cool people and learn something every day yeah and it's man. laid back and it's yeah it's the fan it's, it's not pretentious it's not full no. of ego you know it's just real people real trading i mean that's it period Good, solid people and and everybody's willing to help everybody it's a win, -win yeah man. so yeah tricktrades.com come check us out check out the testimonials page if you don't believe us it's 
just go yeah, to the website. Word for it. Go check out yeah. the testimonials page we, on Reach.com. Uh, we get them every day. So yeah, man. Well, okay, folks, that wraps up episode 17 of the TrickTrades.com. Follow Shelter with Trick and Tino. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks again, Tino. You got it, buddy. We'll be talking soon. Right on, rock and roll. All right, later, everybody. <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs>